Heroin Scar, the Scott Man. We're here to do a drive video today. We are heading west on I-96 and we are heading west from I-69 South, just in the southwest of Lansing, Michigan, and we're going to be heading all the way to M6 today. So this is a, almost a direct continuation of the previous drive video I filmed, which was I-96 West going from 23 all the way to I-69 South. Although the funny thing is, this, is, this video is being filmed almost a whole month later. <laughs> That's because I just got back to Michigan after being away for a couple weeks. It is a hot but sunny day out today. Well, I shouldn't say hot, but rather warm. Because my car thermometer is reading 79 degrees Fahrenheit. If you can convert that to Celsius, it's around 26 degrees. So, and with it being late September, yeah, it's a little warm. Because it should be a little bit cooler than this, but not by much. But yeah, as I'm filming this video, it is the first day of autumn or fall tomorrow. Oh, before before I get to that, yeah, we just passed the interchange for I-496, which I-496 will take you into downtown Lansing. And you can also get to it from the southeastern part of the Lansing area over in Delhi Township. So right now we're we're on a short concurrency with Interstate 69. Because for where we started the video, I-69 South we will take you down toward Indiana. And this exit over here, this is the exit for M43, which M43 going east will also take you into downtown Lansing. M43 West will take you out to Grand Ledge and then eventually to Hastings and then from there it makes a turn to the south and heads down toward Kalamazoo. See over here at this exit you got quite a bit of different shopping or like department stores, restaurants, including fast food restaurants, hotels. So it's a very busy area. area for the weekend so I figure it's a good time to film this video because it's a continuation of the I-96 West videos because I've done East so now I'm doing West and after I get done with this video then at some point I'll have to film I-96 West from M6 probably all the way out to where I-96 ends over in Muskegon but I probably won't do that this weekend because, yeah, I'm only going to the Grand Rapids area. So this time around, I'm, I'm going, to, going to Grand Rapids for a wedding. So I figure, since I'm going out for a wedding, I might as well film some videos while I'm out in the area. Because I'm filming this video, I'm also planning to film another driving video out in the Grand Rapids area, and then I need to finish a restaurant tour that I started in all in Keep left at the fork to stay on I-96 West. Okay, it can stop now. Although, probably, it'll probably say something again, like less than half a mile. <clears throat> but we're now entering Clinton County as we get into the northwestern part of the Lansing Keep area. Left the fork to stay on I-96 West. So right here, this is where I-96 or I, or I and I-69 branch off of each other. I-69 continues to the right as it turns to the east and goes over toward Flint and eventually to Port Huron. And then I-96 West, which is what we're on, this will continue our way over toward Grand Rapids. trucks getting off of this exit there it's like I'm seeing like four of them look identical so you can pretty much tell they're likely going to the same destination and we might see a little bit of a slowdown up ahead because I think there might be a not a traffic stoppage that might be a little too extreme more maybe more like a Maybe like a, some type of an accident on the shoulder or something, or even in the right lane, 
traffic's not super heavy where I-96 between yeah, Lansing and, and like the Detroit area, that's a whole different story. Because I'm, I'm filming this on a Friday evening because normally with these driving videos, I'm filming these on the weekend. But because of the wedding, I'm heading out on a Friday evening so that way I'm out in the area. It's like the wedding I'm going to is not even until the afternoon. So, so I'll be able to do some stuff that in the morning like when it comes to YouTube videos and things like that. But yeah, the, like the wedding yeah, is going to be in the afternoon. Yeah, it's my oldest niece, which yeah, all four of my nieces and my nephew, they all made an appearance in my Foods of Detroit video, which I uploaded earlier in the year. her and her husband-to-be are going to be getting married tomorrow, and it's going to be a really nice event. It's going to be at the Frederick Meyer Gardens. I can, I can pretty much say that now because this video will be going up after the wedding, so I didn't want to really mention details on YouTube or anything until after the event. You can see people trying to get off. It's like, uh-oh, traffic jams. Like, I'll get off here. So, but it's probably going to be one of those situations where it's probably not going to be super pr 
productive or anything like that. Because the next exit is quite a distance until you get over to Portland, Michigan. So, or like just shy of Portland, Michigan. So it's one of those situations where it's like you do not really want to get off here. Now, if it was like a 20, 25 minute backup, then yeah, then you might want to consider doing that. So I'm not gonna even bother doing that. So it's like, <clears throat> so other, because otherwise I'd be canceling the video. <laughs> yeah, we're at least moving, so. It's a little slow, but at least it's not bumper to bumper, although of course you can always change to that, but but anyway, I had a, a really n nice time over there. Like I was in Istanbul for three to four days, and then I spent a good like nine or ten days in Georgia. Because for Georgia, I was there on a group on a group trip that was co-hosted by my very good friend Greg Snell and also uh, James Kerwin, which yeah, which James Kerwin, yeah, he's a in, he's does like a lot of indoor photography. Because the trip itself was called Hidden Georgia, where we got to see a lot of really cool stuff indoors, and of course, see a lot of really cool landscapes too. Because we we were in the capital city of Tbilisi, and then we went up into the mountains over near the border of, with Russia. And yeah, some of the landscapes over there were, were really, really impressive. Like it kind of gave, gave me some vibes of Colorado a little bit. I'm starting to get hot. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn down the windows. Since we're not moving very fast, so it's, you're not gonna hear a bunch of wind noise in this video. So, so I figure go ahead and open open up the windows for a little bit. Just get some cooler air in here because it it's a little it's a little hot out right now. Especially as we're, I don't want to say that we're stationary because we're not stationary. But yeah, it was really cool being in the mountains and then of course then going to like the, to the Kutaisi area over in the west central part of the country and actually maybe I will close the windows again. We're starting to move again. Whatever was going on up ahead, they probably cleared it or something. Oh yeah, it's like this is moving along pretty well now. So like in the Kutaisi area, it's like we it's like we were given access to some abandoned like buildings that we were able to check out, like even buildings dating back to the Soviet era. going up too long from now there's a speed trap ahead yeah I wouldn't even call it I highly doubt there'd be a speed trap given the fact that there was just a slowdown here so I'm thinking whatever it was it was probably it probably cleared up or something because we were yeah we're moving along quite nicely now Just 
car thermometer is reading 82 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's already up to getting close to 28 degrees. So it's gone up even three degrees Celsius or two degrees Celsius in this video. So I am sweating right now. So yeah. Building 
is going going pretty well. So who knows? They could make the playoffs next year. It's always a possibility. But yeah, we'll wait and see how the baseball season comes to play. before 
car. Nobody, there was not even a, a car pulled over on the side of the road for any reason. So it's like people just being stupid.
might be a major event going on in Grand Rapids or something this weekend. And it can't, and I don't think it's a Taylor Swift concert or anything like that. Because it's like, yeah, because I know Taylor Swift has been having a huge tour this year and any, it's like any place she's been having a concert, like you, there's like there's like queues for people going in to the venue that are like um, over like a mile long. It's like I do know it's kind of significant because yeah, one Taylor Swift is a is pretty much a superstar, and two, it's like it's her first tour I think since the pandemic, so. What's interesting is that it's like you like you get it's like there are Taylor Swift fan, fans out there who will who will travel across halfway around the world to see one of her concerts. It's like it is a big deal. It's like heck, I think I've even I've even seen people on social media who have been to a Taylor Swift concert already and are going to another one in Europe or something like that. to get out to Holland 
either Saugatuck or to South Haven.
audio is a little out of whack. I want to maybe close it just to put it. Yeah, I'll do it now. So we have about another mile left to go in this video, and we'll get ready to start concluding the video momentarily. Okay, I can get over now. So yeah, anyway, coming up here is the exit for M6, which again, M6 is the bypass around Grand Rapids. seeing the exit here so so I hope you enjoyed this video here on I-96 West going from I-69 South near the Lansing area all the way to M6 just east of Grand Rapids so if you enjoyed this video uh, be sure to click that, that subscribe button to uh, come along and uh, join me for the venture and uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live well thank you for watching and this is Scott or the Scott man signing out